amount of people that don't believe that we are dealing with food shortages are going to hit them stores up so hard you ain't gonna know what hit you if you don't have it you ain't gonna get it hey what's up fam welcome back how are y'all doing today so i've been doing a lot of thinking because it's a lot of crap going on and people want you to believe that what's happening right now is for the best we're gonna start with the whole railroad thing so biden stepped in at least just my opinion biden stepped in became the the superman of the whole situation you know boasting and chest out and you know those guys and those you know they were in there 20 hours and we got it done between unions and railroad carriers averting a strike that could have caused an economic catastrophe they're really the backbone of the economy i mean literally the backbone of the economy the negotiations stretching for nearly 20 hours inside the labor department with president biden himself dialing in after the 12 hour mark and a final deal clenched around 2.30 in the morning. It felt good. These guys did. By the way, they're still standing. They should be home with bed. <laughs> 20 or 3 hours. The president bringing... What did you get done? What did you get done? Did the railroad workers really get what they wanted? I'm pretty sure they weren't uh, wanting to get the time off and have to pay for it themselves. Where they do that at? So, if they're if you're working, you should be accruing time. You should be accruing sick time, whatever. But apparently, they don't have that in place with the railroad workers, and yet the CEOs of those companies, one of them, got a raise. Now, the workers are asking for a raise. You gave them a raise that's going to take place over a matter of three to five years or something like that. But yet the CEO of one of the companies, um, he got a raise for $900,000. Over $900,000. I think it was like nine twenty dollars or nine fifty, dollars And I'm like, and you crying about giving these people a raise? When they're sitting there breaking their back, missing out on family events, can't go see the wife give birth, can't go if somebody die in the family, not without risk of losing their job. And now you're saying, well, you can go do those things, but we're not going to pay you. We're not going to pay you. You're going to pay for that. So where where is the win? If you ask me, the company made the win. They don't have to pay for their those people time off. They don't have to do anything. And that was supposed to be a deal that both ends would agree on. Well, I'm wondering now, what good was that union that was representing those railroad workers? Because it seems to me they got railroaded. Um, and it's a load of crap. It's all about the dollar and it's about... If you ask me, somebody got paid off. You supposed to be representing me. That's that's just like if I had a lawyer and he's representing me, but he go into meetings with the other side, but the only people that's coming out looking good is him or her in the company, not me. What about me? That's what I feel like a lot of those railroad workers are thinking. What about us? What happened behind those closed doors i want to know i want to see transcripts there should be transcripts of it who said what who agreed to what and as far as i'm concerned this is not over okay i believe that those workers are going to get together and they're going to do something outside of that union because that union failed them that union was not for them. That's why a lot of some people don't like to deal with unions because at the end of the day, it's just a big company. They're making money. And they can be bought out. 
And I think that's what happened behind those closed doors for 20 hours. If I make this concession, what are you going to give me? Not what you're going to give the railroad workers. What are you going to give me? What are you going to give us? So, y'all, that's my opinions on that. And then when it comes to the whole gas... And see, this is political, okay? They like to say it's not political. It's political. Everything is. Religion is now political. But everything is political. These food shortages is political. Then the fact that the gas prices are creeping down is political. How ironic that the gas prices, I paid $2.94 today. I was shocked because the sign said $3.09. And I was like, okay, I'll go get some gas there. I need to really fill up. Um, but y'all, what happened? It was $2.94 when, when I started pumping. And I said, what in the world? Oh, I forgot. This September, they about to be voting in November, right? People losing their minds. They really are losing their minds. I was talking to my husband, and he said, how about a female truck driver knocked out a male truck driver? I was like, when that happened? He's like, the other night. I said, you saw it? He was like, I was there. I said, you couldn't record it? Oh my God, I wasn't trying to make fun of it. You couldn't record. He was like, it happened so fast, I couldn't even get my phone out. So what happened was, apparently, when they were both coming into the truck stop, one the, the man said that the woman blocked him. I guess he was going to a pump or something. And that she was blocking or she pulled in front of him and took spades or whatever. So he was really mad. People are mad out here okay they're driving having to pay all this money for fuel especially if they own operators and loads are getting harder and harder to find they always get hard to find come october through december unless you work for a specific company it's hard for you to find a load so he got so mad now they were inside the truck stop he came in a truck stop they were arguing about the fact that she blocked him at the pump so then he got so angry with her that he went back to his truck got a baseball bat came well knocked out her windows on her big rig truck came back in and told her what he had done and proceeded to jaw jack his mouth and she jaw jacked him and i'm not condoning violence but my husband said the minute he said that's why i bust your windows out or something to that you know degree he said next thing i know he was on the ground i said what is going on and he said when the man came through you know he wasn't out long when he got up he was still running his mouth as she walked out the door and she was like that's why I knocked you out and all I could think of was Smokey from Friday you got knocked the you know what out and I, I'm like it's so much happening you guys please be oh I was like do you have to go to that truck stop but apparently that's the only one near where he has a load to pick up so y'all just people's patience is very thin and it could be from driving a long distance and just tired because when you're tired you can get angry and frustrated and when you're hungry you get angry and frustrated and when you're broke you're angry and frustrated y'all see where i'm going with this so there's a lot of hungry people out there. there's a lot of angry people out there and underpaid people and they're like on a thin and all it takes is one look you might look at somebody wrong and they'd be like what you looking at and next thing you know they're ready to fight you in the store let me tell you these people are don't let something happen lord i pray we don't get no storms this year because the 
amount of people that don't believe that we are dealing with food shortages are going to hit them stores up so hard you ain't gonna know what hit you if you don't have it you ain't gonna get it so i suggest you go get it like mary mary said go get it go get your blessings that food will be a blessing because honey it's gonna be all gone if a hurricane tornado flood whatever happened whatever happened so anyway y'all i'll talk to you guys later i'm just jaw jacking that was just a thought that i had on my mind and wanted to share it with you guys so I will see y'all in the next video, whenever that is. Y'all take care. Remember to love yourself so you can go out and spread God's love. And I'll be me and you be you. Shout out to Ginger Snaps 44 That's my girl. And pray, plan, and prep. The fight over toilet paper that went viral around the world. I just want one pack. No, not one bad. Now the 60-year-old mother and her 23-year-old daughter, who were wheeling a trolley full of rolls at Woolworths Chalora, have been charged with a fray and a due in court. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights